Greetings folks, Alex from the library here. I hope you're well. In this video, I'll show you how to find relevant articles using Google Scholar. Now, what is Google Scholar? It's a free web search engine from Google that specifically searches scholarly literature and academic resources. However, you will not have access to all of the resources because not all of them are free. In some cases, you'll be taken to a publisher's page and asked to pay for the article. Now, how is Google Scholar different from the SFC Library databases, you ask? Good question. There's a lot of overlap. Google Scholar will not have as many articles as you can access in a library database, for one. However, because Google Scholar has millions of pages indexed, you may find relevant articles that other colleges and other institutions offer for free. You may also come across some free article abstracts that you can use in your paper. Finally, there are a lot of free essays and articles in Google Scholar available from government institutions. Google Scholar is a good starting point to see what's available out there, so to speak, for your topic based on your keywords. So aside from showing you how to search Google Scholar and cite the articles you find, I will also show you how to connect the SFC library to the Google Scholar database. Any questions? Good. Let's do some searching. So now we're on the Google Scholar page. How did we get to this page? In an address bar, you type in scholar.google.com. You can also go incognito, which is preferable. You don't have to do that though, but it's preferable because when you go incognito, when you open an incognito window, your results will not be influenced by your previous searches. Okay, so that's that's one of the reasons. It's the most important reason to go incognito. And we could we can do that by opening uh, an incognito window, just like this. Say you're writing a paper on how social isolation affects the health of older adults. What would be the keywords for that search? Social isolation, older adults, and health. Right? In this case, it's pretty easy, but it's very important to construct your keywords properly. Otherwise, you won't get relevant results. Only the essential words and phrases that you need for your search. So let's do the search. health. Why did we put quotation marks around the phrases? Most of you know that. So that in our results, these phrases will come back exactly the way we type them. If you want the search engine to search for social and isolation, older and adults separately, not as a phrase, you don't have to put quotation marks around them. Also make sure that you're searching articles and not law cases or legal cases, right? Let's click on search. We have 56,700 results. Now, what we wanna do is limit it to this year because we want to know if we can find any articles written in 2020 during the global coronavirus pandemic. So the most recent articles. In the left sidebar, we wanna click on since 2020. Okay, now we got 1,730. As I said in the LibGuide, most of the time, these articles will take you either to an institutional page to which you have no access or to a publisher's page, which requires you to pay some money for the article. We don't want to do any of that. What we want to do is connect our library, SFC library, with a Google Scholar database. So what we want to do is we want to go to the left sidebar, click on the three dashes, click on settings, click on library links, and here put in St. Francis College, St. Francis College, just like that. Click on search 
And here you want to check both of these boxes and then click save. You only have to do it once. From then on, Google Scholar will be connected with SFC library. Okay, now you can see that we have links pointing to the SFC library. How do we cite these articles? If you go to, if you want to, if you choose the article from our library, you want to click on the library link. Let's just say you want this article. You want to click on the library link, authenticate yourself from off campus, and you're here. Okay, so when you click on, you want to look for full text, when you click on, say, this article, in the right sidebar, click on this yellow icon, it says cite, choose the citation style. Just make sure that you format it correctly, because a lot of the time, the citations are not formatted correctly. What you want to do is you want to go to the library homepage, library.sfc.edu. Now, if you come across an article that's freely accessible and you want to cite that article, you can click on the quotation marks that says cite right here and it'll bring up a similar page. Again, these citations are not properly formatted. Make sure that you go to the SFC library citation page to see how, how to properly format the citations. It's all for now. Have fun researching.